English page 1102, if you get to this page, let me just give you a couple tips before you try to do it, okay? Because this, this assignment tends to be kind of challenging and um, confusing. So I'm gonna give you a tip that'll help you and make this assignment a whole lot easier and less likely that your supervisor or teacher is gonna make you go back and have to redo it. So notice up here at the top it says, some prepositions are mistaken for adverbs because many of the words listed as prepositions can also be used as adverbs. So here's a clue, a preposition is always followed by a noun or pronoun that acts as its object. All right, so then we're supposed to come up with sentences. For each word listed below, we're supposed to write two sentences. One, using it as a preposition, and then using that same word as an adverb. So clue number one, all right, hint number one, I would put a P next to the first line on all of these and an A next to the second one of all of these, okay? So always do the preposition first, always do the adverb second. It'll make it easier for you, it'll make it easier for your supervisor grading it, okay? Remember, using, when you do it as a preposition, you have to have an object of the preposition. So you could make a sentence here, I saw the bird above my head, right? Because you have my head coming after above, above is therefore being used as a preposition, okay? That's simple. So if, there, if you put a noun after above, then it is a preposition. Now let's come up with a sentence that um, is gonna have an adverb in it. Clue number two is to always end the sentence with the adverb, okay? Because adverbs can be in several places in the sentence, but if you make the sentence end with it and you make sure you do not put a noun after it, then you are guaranteed that if that sentence makes sense, that that is being used as an adverb, okay? So what if I said, I saw an eagle fly above? As soon as I stop at above, it's being used as an adverb. If I, if I add above my head, then it's now being turned into a prepositional phrase, all right? So I saw the eagle fly above, period. Now it's an adverb. We can do the same with each of these, you know, with the word behind. You know, think about a student falling behind. They're in a race, okay, and they fall behind, something like that. Or think of the word by as an adverb, you know, something um, flew by. Now again, if you, if you add flew by my desk, now it's a preposition, but if it's just flew by and you end with the word by, now it's an adverb, okay? So those clues, first label all the first sentences as P's, the second sentence as an A. Make sure with the first sentence that you do put a noun after this given word. And then the second sentence, make sure the sentence ends with that word. It'll make it a whole lot easier for you and a lot easier for your supervisor scoring it, okay? Good luck.